code vein with anything compromise is considered key you could say the game was compromised in the end but at least bandai namco didn't censor it for all audiences like what some devs are doing for games right now most notably the nintendo atlas collaboration tokyo mirage fe encore being completely censored in all regions for its nintendo switch remake this coming right after nintendo called out other gaming corporations for their sensorial ways and claim that the gamer has the right to choose the game they want to play. So, what are we missing in Code Vein, essentially? Well, the characters in bath towels as a DLC, a common sight for anybody who frequents an onsen or hot springs facility in Japan. What's confusing is that some people are trying to gain access to the bath towel DLC, while others are trying to gain access to it. A gamer complained that he was unable to get the bath towel DLC while his friend was granted access to it. The gamer launched an official inquiry with Bamco as to why their friend in the same region has a DLC and they don't. Bamco, on the other hand, is responding with a generic phrase along the lines of the game DLC is region locked, sorry for the inconvenience, which doesn't make any sense and only adds fuel to the fire. The friend who got the DLC is a streamer and upon doing a quick Twitch search of playthroughs, it would seem big name Twitch streamer streamers were sent different DLC codes than normal people who purchased the game. Some speculate that the bath towels will become DLC later, while I, hentai happy, speculate that they're testing the market to see how well received the bath towels are with the immature urinalists and the consumers. Bandai Namco was playing it safe, being extra cautious because this game was their Q4 fourth quarter 2019 baby. Even so, the urinalists managed to take stabs at it and attempt to heavily suppressed its thunder in the West with a common collective of social jack-offs bickering at how the game characters have skin in the game and boobs. Two things which the social jack-offs wish they had, but they don't. So they decide to project their insecurities at an anime game and later get a sex change. By the way, these cum guzzlers don't even play the games they criticize and push the change. Over in Japan, Code Vein is one of the best-selling games next to Atelier Ryza. When I was on the floor at the Tokyo Game Show, the Bandai Namco staff showcasing the game were exceptionally nice. I have a theory that Bandai Namco handpicked the staff and made an elite unit specifically for Code Vein. As I finished watching the Code Vein content, I made my way to watch some attendees play Kakarot. Halfway before getting there, a Bandai Namco Vein staff member grabbed my arm and put the most awesome keychain in my hand. It was unreal. I had never been grabbed by the arm by a stranger since grade school. Everyone nowadays is so scared about people being genuine, sincere, and feeling the touch of another that there is a new term for it called touchy-feely. However, I knew the intent of the guy for me was to think back at how classy and nice their show was. More often than not, a touch is a way to convey feelings or emotion. Without touching, social creatures and animals like cats and monkeys would wither away and die because they lack a skinship bond with another. There was this video about a baby monkey wanting to be held over drinking milk and consuming sustenance. You cannot convey your sincerity without touching an individual. I could say the same for people that criticize touching behavior. Maybe they were never touched as a kid and, you know, they find it weird when somebody touches them. You know, that's probably why they don't like skinship. Getting back to the topic on hand, Bamco tried their best to defend their baby from criticism, but that'll never be enough because the social jack-off Nimrod crowd are always looking for a way to demean, belittle, and de-platform games, developers, corporations, and humans for prioritizing human behavior and organic organs like skin and breasts, whereas they praise the people who do twerking videos. Think about this. The anus is a place where things go to die. The breast is what gives sustenance to the human. The breast gives life. Never turn your back on life. Yes, good day. It is hentai happy. And I have some news.